Now to the latest after Sean Diddy Combs was indicted, the media mogul pleading not guilty to multiple charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. And today he will be back in court trying to get released on bail. Local 10's Trent Kelly is live near Diddy's residence in Miami Beach with the developing details. Trent. Yeah, that's right, Alexis. In fact, for the second day in a row now, Sean Diddy Combs is spending his day in a New York City jail cell rather than sitting here at his Star Island mansion. That's after a judge yesterday denied his legal team's request for a $50 million bond. That issue expected to come up again later today during a bond appeal hearing. And it comes as we now hear from a former assistant to the music megastar. I feel the justice has been served. New reaction from a former assistant to Sean Diddy Combs, who remains in a New York City jail after a judge denied a $50 million bond proposal yesterday. Combs expected back in court today for a second bond hearing. No matter what island you can go slink off to or no matter who you can pay off, it's not working this time and justice is actually being served. It took a while but it is being served. The music mogul arrested on Monday accused of using his massive business empire to run a criminal sex enterprise. According to the 14 page indictment, prosecutors say Combs abused, threatened and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires in what Combs called freak offs. The freak offs sometimes lasted days at a time, involved multiple commercial sex workers, and often involved a variety of narcotics, which Combs distributed to the victims to keep them obedient and compliant. The charges come after a year-long investigation and the release of this video showing the hip-hop icon beating his ex-girlfriend at a Los Angeles hotel. Earlier this year, federal agents raided the 54-year-old's mansions in both L.A. and Star Island, authorities seizing several AR-15s, large-capacity magazines, and supplies for the freak-offs, including one thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant. They also seize evidence of the freak offs, electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak offs with multiple victims. Combs's attorney speaking yesterday. He's, he's not guilty. Former federal prosecutor David S. Weinstein says he's not surprised the judge denied Diddy's bond. I certainly think that this is not necessarily over in terms of additional people or additional charges. Others who conspired with or facilitated the criminal activity are certainly being looked at. And according to a new court filing, Combs' attorneys are expected once again today to ask that judge for a $50 million bond to be issued here. They're also offering his Star Island mansion, valued at nearly $48 million as collateral. That bond appeal hearing is set to begin at 3.30 this afternoon in New York City. We'll let you know what happens there. For now, that is the latest live from Miami Beach. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.